When I was a little girl, my my grandmother, she she died. I was always so close to her. I, I really loved her so much. She was always such a godly woman. My grandmother, she especially loved to bake. I remember she would always prepare this special bread that she had made just for us when I was a little girl. It was just incredible. I remember whenever she made it, the whole house had the smell of warm olive oil and sweet honey. I remember just sitting at her table and just watching her prepare this bread. She would knead the dough with her old hands and the whole time she would sing these beautiful songs of praise to the Lord. Songs that she had learned when she was a little girl about my age. And the whole time she would just smile and smile. I always loved that. She followed God faithfully her entire life and spent every day serving her family and everyone around her. She would just pour herself out for us. She taught us how to love God and how to trust Him, how to trust Him with everything. When she died, I remember just staring at her little body lying back in her cot. I remember sitting there thinking, here is my old and frail grandmother with her broken body who gave everything she had in her life to serve God. She gave everything, her time, her energy, her home, raising children and grandchildren, cooking for them, praying for them, teaching them. Everything she did, she did in faith, believing that even the smallest acts of kindness and obedience to God would matter not just in that moment, but would matter for generations. So that night when the angel came to me, I was so afraid. I mean, I could hardly even look at him. I remember he told me that I had found favor with God and that I would give birth to a baby and that my baby would be the Messiah, the, the promised one that our people had prayed for for years and years. I remember he said that he would be the son of God. I remember just clenching my hands together to keep them from shaking. I mean, I wasn't even married yet. I couldn't possibly imagine what Joseph would say. But in that moment, I knew, I, I knew and I believed that God was calling me to trust Him with my entire life. I knew that just like my grandmother, He was inviting me to offer up everything I had to trust Him with my entire life, to trust Him with my body, to trust Him with what everyone was going to say about this young and married pregnant girl, to trust Him with everything. So that night I said to the angel, Let it be, let it be to me according to your word. I will serve the Lord. I didn't understand how it would happen or even why it would happen. But I believed right then that my life is not about me. My life is not my own. My life is about serving God and doing whatever He desires, no matter what it might cause me to sacrifice. I believed that I was supposed to pour myself out to serve God and to love others, to make a beautiful home for my son, to to bake bread, to serve God, to obey Him in every big thing He asks and in every little thing. So I stepped out in faith. I said then and I continue to say now, let it be to me according to your word.